What is up guys, PhD here, back once again with another video. Today's video is a bit different, you can't see my face cam in the top corner guys. That is a, this is a no face cam video, I'm just too well. You might be able to tell in my voice, but I just can't do it today. So, this is going to be my trading ultimate kind of trading guide for you guys that can tell you how to make 0 to 5,000 coins, 5,000 to 10,000 coins, 10,000 to 100k, 100k to a million. So it kind of covers, like there's like 7 or 8 different methods overall on how to do it on each method. So we're, we're ready to go into it guys, let's just smash the like button, let's get over 500 likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. And remember to subscribe to me, stop the video right now, click subscribe down below. Right, the first method we're going to go into is very, very simple. It's one of the most basic ones. These will be going in order of 0 to like 5,000, then how to make easy coins, depending on your budget. So near the end will be more expensive methods. But this, you can see, we open a 400 coins pack straight away. We get 100 coins in it back to redeem that. So that's 300 coins we've still got to make back. You can sell the contracts. You mainly look in, in terms of players, you'll be looking for the English players, they will sell, people seem to buy them for the cheap championship sides or League One sides or maybe even BPL team, uh, like we've got that in Dugdale as well to sell up there. The contracts I think you can try and sell but there's a, there's a quite a high chance that they won't actually go at this current point in FIFA and as well the badges and stuff if you want to. Now you can see that I've discarded that, I do believe we go and try one more bronze pack just to show you that this method does work rather nicely, we'll see what we get in the pack now, as it opens we go and grab ourselves a Gori, 64 rated centre mid, we can already see there there is an English man ready to sell, you know he will, should sell pretty much straight away or maybe like after a certain time period, there won't be loads and loads of them on the market but he will go after a certain point. Another contract we can go and list up there, that'll sell. And then badges wise, we didn't really get that lucky. And that wasn't like the greatest possible pack. The fitness cards do actually sell um, quite kind of quick to be fair. Now I can move on to the next method, which is going to be my silver BPL 150 coins method. That doesn't really make sense, but you'll see how it is. I search in the Barclays Premier League for silver cards. You can see there, there's a bunch of silver ones. People seem to buy them. If you put a max, like, kind of, like, buy it now, you see they go from the 58th minute, there's only, like, four cards there, and they do sell rather quick. So this method I've done for the past two FIFAs, it does work, like, you know, it works every time. All you do is search max for 150. You can see other people are already doing it on the market right there. Search max for 150 and then just search until there's no bids on the next set of like cards. So you can see that there's still 150, we're half an hour in. There we go, 53rd minute, there's no bids on these players. Some of these players will not be going for 150, like you will be out bid. Because like the Manchester United ones or any Arsenal ones or anything like that, they will get bid higher and higher amounts on. But you can just go and bid 150 on all these cards, go all the way along. I stopped after a certain time period just for the purpose of the video, but you can go and bid on all of them, some you will win, some you won't, and some will even sell for more than the 200, the 150 coins or 200 coins that you're trying to actually sell them for. The third method is going to be the shiny silver method, which is a max price, I do believe I put as 350, and then the minimum price I do adjust to 250, and we searched on there. Basically you've got to look for any players in a good league, so the BPL, Good teams in the league BBVA or the Bundesliga or the Serie A, anything like that. Like that Felipe that's on the market right now, that could be the one that we've gone and checked. But I do believe we find a much better one in a second. You can see how it works. You see there, we've got Patterson. He plays in the SPL for Hearts, I do believe. 300 coins is his bid at the moment. We're gonna just going to go and check on the market and see what he can go for. You've basically got to check the market when you're looking for those silvers. For players with bids on that look like they could go for a lot more. You see that we're searching, he's, we could still be making profit there, 1.2k, and there's one on the market for 1.2k, so we were able to buy that one, but you see that guy's just bought it for 300 coins, if we got him, we would have had a really good deal, because he sells for 1.2. Now I do believe we move on to the next method, which is going to be the position change. So for this method, all you've got to do is search, for this, for example, this video I choose left wing to left mid, which is about 250, 350 coins, around that mark. And you can see there, you can buy a card for 350 coins for that position. You can do it for right wing to right mid, you can do camp to centre mid, striker to centre forward, centre forward to striker, blah blah blah. This method works on anyone you want and it will work on many different players, not just the ones that I'm kind of showing you in this video. You see there, we're going to try it first of all and see, Blassi, will Blassi work? We'll go and try it out. So all you've got to do is search for Blassi in his natural position. As we can slowly, 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 come on. Then you can finally see that after we search for him, he will be going for 9.9 thousand coins, 9.8 on the end. And then we go and check how much is he worth in the left mid position. Say if you transferred him for that 350 coins, 
then you can see that we can go and sell one for 12.7, 12. So if you actually went and bought a Blassi, then added that gold position change, that would be around probably one and a half thousand coins profit that you can make on a Blassi. The fifth method that we'll be doing is going to be the sniper method. You can see straight away I go and pick out a Palacio. This works with, again, any players within your price range. We go and search, find out how much he is, his maximum price, which wasn't 5,000, I think it was about 4,300, around that mark. You can see there's one there. Straight away after that, you can just search 4.2 as the maximum, 4.1, anything, and then just quickly change the max, the buy it now minimum. Just going up and down, up and down as quick as you can, but do this for a maximum time of about five minutes and then stop and do something else trading method wise. Because I do believe they can be banning you for this now. But you see that 2.5k, we just about miss out. If I'd have bought that one, we could have made about one and a half thousand coins profit. So that is a very, very simple method. And it was done very, very quick. I do try it with a couple of other players. Felipe Santana, you can see, is about 2.2. I do believe 2,200 coins I think it goes for in the end we'll be able to see um, but then we do find one that literally just straight away after that we search 2.2, 2.3 we found out his minimum or his maximum and then you just start to scroll again and bang we see 1.5 I was again too slow I was really unlucky with the sniping but you can see how easy it is to find players if you are quick enough to snipe them off the market then it can be done just so so super super quick I do believe we do a try again for Felipe Santana as it does seem because he's quite a low rated player people are more likely to pack him so he pops up on the market more you see there's one there for 1.8 i don't buy him i was just showing you there for an example you could have sold him i got about 400 coins 200 coins 300 coins profit on him next method is going to be mass bidding now this tends not to work brilliantly for me because i don't have the patience for it but it's another method that you can do and will always work and it's going to be this simple you just go and find look on the market for a player within you know the kind of like 650 coins mark any of that around and you see there we've got Kone with a bid on it. It's basically the same as the silver method we showed you earlier. You go and put Kone on your watch list, you go and find out his most like lowest buy it now, which in this case is gonna be 1.3 thousand coins. And then I go and see can I get him for 900 coins? That'll leave me if I was able to sell him for 1.3 thousand coins. I'd be able to sell him for a 400 coin profit on there. This in this case I don't think it does actually work out that well for us. But if you carry on doing it and doing it and doing it, it does tend to. Like you can just spam bids on now. You know that he sells for 1,300. You spam bids on all those cards along there. You will eventually win a couple, two or three of them. I tend to do this with a couple of different players just to mix it up a bit so you're not constantly using the same card over and over and over. The next one we do use is Migdalay. And we'll see how much his price is on the Xbox. I believe it's about 3,200 coins. I think something within that price range. There, we'll see there 3,300. So I can put the max of say the max I want to pay for a Mingle 8 is going to be like 2,700, 2,800. And there, I just go and bid on all those cards on there. You see, you know, I'll up the price slowly to two and a half thousand coins, see if I can win them for that. And eventually, we do go on to win a few of them, not all of them. Like I said, this method can be frustrating. Sometimes you'll win absolutely nothing, but other times you'll win quite a few, and then that's better profit for you guys. This method is now for people that have a lot more coins, say 100,000 coins plus. It can work for say 50,000 coins over as well. But it's just going to be for searching for those expensive cards. Look for the place I have a bid on. Like Lewandowski had a bid on, but I already knew that he doesn't go for much more than that. Royce, we could have checked. We could also go to check to Gary Neville. Is there anyone else along here with a bid on? There's a couple, I do believe. Lewandowski again. We only go to like 125, something around there. We had Sanchez for the watch list. We'll go and check his price after. But there's a couple more players. De Gea, who goes for 100,000, 130,000 coins at the time. And he had a 100k bid on. So I knew that was one straight away to look out for. And then we move on to see if there's any more players. Just within, say, the five minutes range, around that kind of time limit. And there's nothing else there. So I can then go on and check that, first of all, the Sanchez. And see how much his price is. So if we can get a cheeky bid on his card that was going there. And then sell him for more on the buy it now. So we check his buy it now. It's not 162. It's about 165. I think in and around that mark we're able to see. 165, there he is. And then we check the card, he's already got 163k bid on, so that's not worth it. But then De Gea has 101,000 coin bid on. So we go and check his price again, and we'll be able to see it now as we search. We initially, I thought it was going to be worth a bit more, but he's actually worth, in total, about 130,000 coins, which it was kind of like, I expected a bit more. But anyway, you see there, 130k, that was the card we were just looking at, so 101,000 coin bid on. And as we just go in a little bidding more then to try and win this card, see if we can get it. And in the end, I can inform you that we eventually do, guys. We get a nice deal. It's say we 
tax on that card would have been a max of say 6,000 coins, 6,500 coins. After we bought him, like after you sold him, he'd been for 130,000. So anything under say 120 would have been good enough and you would have made profit on. For example, here I would have made around 10,000 coins. I think about that much, 8,000 to 10,000 after the tax after I sold him as well. So that was a nice little pickup. Finally, guys, this method is probably the easiest and the one that put in the least effort. I did this without even knowing, but on previous FIFAs, everyone does it. You basically just buy a team, wait two or three days, and the price will go up. I bought this team about three or four days ago. Robin, you see that I paid 309,000 coins. But you go and look at the market two or three days later, and you can see it's going to be about 365 in and around that mark. That's 60, that's like 64,000 coins profit in like two or three days, just on one player. So imagine you do that on a full team of players. You'll be able to see me now, I'll show you examples of how the players are slowly going up. This is only at the moment, they won't always go up. Lower down, you can see, for example, I bought for 101,000 coins. You can see on the market straight away that people are bidding on for 120,000 coins there. It probably goes for about 130k in total overall. So that's another simple that 20 to 30,000 coins profit on him. Uh, Rebar Eaton is the final one that I'm going to show you guys that we've paid 170,000 coins for. Two or three days later, it's worth like 185 to 190. So again, another like 10 to 15 to 20,000 coins. Easy profit, guys. Now, guys, I do hope you have enjoyed this video. Remember, these are all the trading tips that I do have for you. And it should show you how to make coins from 0 to 5,000, 5,000 to 50, 50 to 100, and 100,000 coins to a million coins. I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button. Subscribe to me if you aren't already. We'll have a new video tomorrow, and the face cam will return then. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye bye. What is up, guys? GHD here, back once again with another video. Today, as by the title, you can see. I have got how to win every single game of FIFA 16.